And so, Paulina Punchwood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, friend of the rodents, builder of Pueblos, and, oh, traffic jam. And all around dynamite gal- Excuse me, buddy! Listen, one at a time! I was here first, I got right away. I gotta get into the roundabout. Get ay ay ay. Anyway, where was I? Right, and dynamite gal did decide she needed a more nimble and agile vehicle for the streets. Since they're so darn busy all the time. And all we have is Humphrey here, who is uh, like a Chevy Tahoe, a rather large sport utility vehicle. <laughs> not the easiest thing to travel on. Uh, especially not during rush hour. Anyway, we just want to get to the Oasis and get some water. Humphrey's going to fill up his humps. Okay, let me hop off here. Fall in, hop off. There we go. Dismount. Go on. Go on, Humphrey. Have a sip. There you go. That's a good boy. Anyway, welcome back to Ark. Survival. Evolved. Scorched. Uh, Earth Edition, right? Yeah, that's the name of this thing. Oh, wait. Actually, fill that up. And, yeah. We're just filling up here at the water hole. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, you're full. Good. Because these, um, these water skins leak. So we have to replace those pretty soon. But we need crystal to make the next uh, upgraded water container. Get out of the way! What do you mean I'm going the wrong way? I know it's a roundabout. It's my own business. <laughs> Look at all the SUVs on the road these days. See, this is the problem. So anyway, I was saying, yeah, we need crystal. And we can get that up in mountains and in caves. I don't think I've seen any here in Scorched Earth yet, so we're going to have to hunt some of that down. Uh, oh boy, Fender Bender. You want me to call the uh, police? You guys good? Oh, never mind. They're good. Whew! All right. We made it home in one piece. Just a few more dents and scratches on old Humphrey here. But uh, he'll be fine. Yeah, you got new headlights too. Check them out. <laughs> Anyway, so welcome back to the Pueblo, guys. I've done quite a bit of work on it. I've added a third floor, and I've expanded out the back side as well, so I've made some living space in here. And I'm thinking we could probably put some storage back here, too, and utilize this space. Anyway, let's go inside. I'll give it a quick nickel tour. We'll go in through the side door. So, yeah, I, I bumped this out. I knocked that wall down. Got a ladder going up. Hello, Tut Tut. How are you? And this is Polly's personal bedroom. And it has a door for privacy, of course. There's a bed. And we have some storage here with some pajamas. And a lovely window to look outside. So here's the third floor. It's obviously not complete yet. But it's something I will be working on. It looks like we need a roof over here. And we can walk out the back here and go up the cliffside. I'm not sure how far we can go. I haven't really gone that far. To see how far I can go. Oh, I. Hello, hello. Who is that? Oh, it's a raptor. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Actually, he'd make a nice little uh, vehicle, wouldn't he? Raptors are fast and nimble, and they'd be pretty handy in a road rage incident, wouldn't they? He looks like he's stuck. Oh, oh gosh. I don't want to get stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Help! So yeah, a, a Raptor is an option for a vehicle, but I'm thinking a Terror Bird, because I've never actually tamed a Terror Bird before. And we have a bunch nearby over there, so I think we're going to go do that instead. And Terror Birds actually fly. Well, well, they don't fly, but they can glide. Paulina, do you need a little privacy? Oh. <laughs> I guess Cleo couldn't wait. Paulina, do you need some privacy right now? You do? Okay, just go on. Go on, do your thing. We'll wait out here. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, oh boy. All right, before we go and hunt down a terror bird, let's make up some more desert clothes. I can make the desert boots. Not four of them. Paulina, come on. You only need one pair of shoes, girl. This is a survival situation. Don't want to waste all your materials. So we'll make... Uh, gloves as well. Unfortunately, the, this helmet, which actually looks really cool, desert goggles and hat, also requires crystal. So after we get the terror bird, we'll go find some crystal. So your glasses don't... How did you get crystal in your glasses? 
All right, let's put the gloves on and the booties. Oh yeah, look at Paulina now. Girl, you look smashing. Are those steel toe boots? Let me see. Yeah, they are. You're right, they're steel toe boots. Awesome. All right, we've got almost a whole ensemble now with the exception of the helmet. All right, let me just grab a few things that we're gonna need in order to uh, tame this terror bird. Whoops, where did I move that? Narco. Including the narco, of course. And I've got 20 narco arrows. That should be enough. Well, let me put these PJs away. I don't need to carry those around. Tut, tut, you stay here. Hold down the fort, you're in charge. Makes them feel important, because I never take them out. Actually, let's spend some of our metal. We have metal. We can make a sword now, so let's craft up a sword. All right, guys, I think we're ready to go shopping for a new, more practical vehicle to get around Scorched Earth with. Are you ready, Paulina? Yeah, she's ready. Good. All right, hop on Humphrey. We are going to drive our Tahoe over to the dealership, which is... Oh, my gosh. We got a dire wolf here. What the heck's the dire wolf doing here? Oh, well, he's eating is what he's doing. Uh, Humphrey, we can't leave this guy around here, can we? No, very close to home, although the, the dire wolf can't do any damage to this Pueblo, the adobe. Level you. Level 32 male dire wolf. <laughs> Got yourself in a bit of a pickle there, buddy. Oh, boy. Uh, should I even bother taming him? It's pretty low level. We're just going to kill him. We're just going to kill this one. Yeah, all right, I'm going in with my sword now. Humphrey, cover me. I got this. Get him, Paulina. Ooh. Ooh he's, he's pretty savage looking, isn't he? Oh, got him. All right, let's see what he's got on him. Got a soup recipe. Lazarus chowder. That come in handy. Lots of arrows, extra arrows. Yeah, I don't need the rest of this stuff. Let's just dump it out. And then I am going to grab... Your well, oh, no, your hides. Dude. All right, all right, there. We got rid of the predator. All right, guys, we are now at the dealership, and we have a couple of different models to choose from. We have obviously the terror birds here, which is what I'm mostly interested in because they uh, they do have that flight ability, which could come in handy, especially up in these canyons and cliffs. Oh boy. Um, but there's also a dire wolf there. Dire wolves don't require saddles. But I've had dire wolves before. I, I just want to try something different, and I think this terror bird is going to be the one. I'm not too keen on the color, but there was another color option over there. Let's let's go see what the other color option was. This is where a spyglass would come in handy to see what level this thing is. Oh, there's more than one now. Oh, they just. <laughs> I was going to buy that car, maybe. <laughs> You just destroyed it. And now this one's getting involved. Uh, can I get a discount on this one over here? <laughs> it's slightly used. All right, guys, we have a putty tad here blocking our path to the dealerships down the road more. So I think we're just going to have to eliminate them. It's not worth taming a, uh, a saber tooth because I can't ride him. I can't make a saddle for it. Not yet, anyway. So, you know what? Here, let's take care of this guy. I have no idea what level he is, but we're going to shoot him. And bring him in. And then stop him! Ah, uh, he's already pretty bloody. I think this should be pretty easy. Get him, Humphrey! Level 40. He was just a kitten! Ooh, he leveled up. That's nice. Hold on one sec. And we look around. Make sure nobody's sneaking up. And can we get... Keratin? Yes, we can get keratin. Only two? Yeah. Maybe I should use a pickaxe. I never know. But we need keratin and chitin to make um, cementing paste. And we need cementing paste for many, many things. But it seems like to me keratin and chitin are really rare in scorched earth. Hey, moth! Are you trying to drink water from Humphrey? I'm sorry, buddy, but that's not how it works. Listen, if you want to drink, there's plenty of waiters around here with water. I'm sure somebody will help you out. Uh, what should I do with this guy? Should I kill him? Sadly, I can't make a saddle for the Lamantrias either because it, it's 
like level 45 or 50. Well, guys, I don't see any more terror birds around here. There's a raptor down there. There's dire wolves. There's uh, horny bearded dragons. But no terror birds. Oh, is that some kind of a bug down there? Oh, maybe I can get some uh, chitin or keratin from that thing. Well, chitin probably, right, from the bugs. Let's go see. What's that? Oh, yeah. Perfect. It is bugs. It is bugs. Get them. Oh, they're behind us. Oh, I hate that. I hate when they get behind the sky. See, that's the thing. He's just not nimble enough to turn around. Oh, here they come. Okay. Stomp them. Don't push them too far back. I gotta hunt them down and get their stuffs. Oh, well. <laughs> Did he chuck that little guy? Dead? Crunch him. Nice one. And now we have a raptor here. Take this raptor down. Oh, I knew it. Dude, I... Oh. I was gonna say, do you mind? I've got work to do here. Hold on, let me reload. And let's see if I can get... Is it axe? Humphrey, did you have to punt him so far? Can't find the body. There we go. Six chitin, two keratin. Jackpot. Uh, well, no, not really, but I couldn't find those other bodies. Well, guys, it looks like all the dealerships have closed down for the day. So we're going to have to come back in the morning and do some shopping when they, uh, when they reopen. But check this out. There's a massive gaping hole here in this cliff. Let's go check it out. Maybe there's some dealerships inside. Wait a minute. I saw some movement. Uh... I don't know if this is such a good idea. Let me grab my torch. I don't know, Paulina. What do you say? Should we go down the dark alley looking for a car dealership? It's kind of late. Are you sure? Okay. Here we go. She's the boss. <laughs> down the dark alleyway. Look for maybe a used car lot down here. Oh boy. This is a little critter, but it's friendly. What? Oh, it's nighttime. It's gonna start getting dark uh, and cold, so we might have to turn around. Now, I'm not sure if this actually qualifies as a real cave, but if it does, we'll find some crystal in here, possibly. And potentially some big, nasty predators with huge, sharp teeth. Why does this remind me of the movie Wrong Turn? <laughs> oh yeah, it's cold in here. Okay, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Let's go home. Okay, we'll come back here in the daylight. Although I don't think the daylight's going to actually reach the inside of that cave, but at least it might be a little warmer. So, okay, hop on to the, uh, let's get on the freeway here, Humphrey, and head on home. Whew! Almost out of gas. Humphrey doesn't get the best gas mileage either. That's the thing about driving these massive SUVs. All right, nighty night, going in. Hopefully the room up here is warm. Oh, warm right now. Let me just put the torch away. We really need some lights in here. Yeah, I should close some windows. Nights here get really cold. Believe it or not. Oh, how am I going to reach that? Jump, of course. Oh, Paulina, is that a shield? Oh, hold it up. Let's see. Oh, wow. Now that's the way to go. Car shopping, huh? Uh-huh. Let's get a cheer. Yeah, day two, car shopping. <laughs> Fully equipped. Well, those car salesmen, those pushy car salesmen over here. All right, heading down the freeway, right where we were last night. There's the cave, and I'm debating to go back into the cave or just stick with the main highway here. And see if we have any new, uh, new inventory in the car lots. Dodicarus here, killing all the all the terror birds. Oh, look at these two, strong arm in me, strong tail in me. So back down the dark alleyway, see if we can make a deal for a, a cheap terror bird inside this cave. By the way, I can actually make a metal shield. I have uh, the right engram for it, and I have metal and everything, but I don't have enough cementing paste. It requires twenty. 
And I only have two right now. That's why we need more chitin and keratin. So, all right, let's break out the light. And what do we have here? That looks like ra Is that one raptor or two raptors? Two raptors could be tough. But I think we can take them. Don't run this way with you stinking raptors! All right, all right. Hey, hey. Oh, it's just one raptor. I got him. Parasaur, do not get in my way. Oh, it's two raptors. Yeah, we got this anyway. They can't even get in close. Bang! Somebody behind us, too? If you time it right, just smash them before they can get a hit. And I'm not really doing it well. That time. Like that one. Yeah, there we go. Bang! Oh, oh, now... Oh, now I see what they're doing. They've dispersed themselves. Boom! I can do this all day, fellas! Ha ha ha! was not all that tough after all. Hold up. Oh, there's some Morelotops down there, so it can't be too bad. Alright, let me grab the hides here. Oh man, it's so dark. I need a flashlight. Alright, heading down deeper into this tunnel. Well, guys, we have a fork in the road here. We can go to the right. Or we can go to the left. I don't know this neighborhood very well, so... What do you think, Humphrey? Right? Or left? Right? Okay, fine, let's go right. Humphrey says right, we go right. He grew up in this area, so maybe he knows it better than Paulina. Oh, look, there's a little Jerboa down here. I guess it can't be too bad. Or, hey, buddy, are you lost? Oh, look, it's the red obelisks right here. Awesome. All right, easy does it, buddy. You have no idea what's on the other side of this gate. Oh, Morella Tops. Can you even fit through there? Oh, no. This is far as you go. You can't fit, can you, big guy? Nope, you can't. And this is exactly why we need a smaller vehicle. All right. So I guess we're just going to have to back it up. Beep, beep, beep. All right, let's see if Paulina is high enough level for the supply crate. I have a feeling she is not. But, oh, drat, level 45. We're so close. Not really. Okay, well, let's go to the right here because I have a feeling this goes around in a circle. Oh, what's this? It goes up. Let's follow it. But otherwise, yeah, it looks like this just goes around in a circle. Oh, whoo. Vegisaurus. No problem. There's got to be something of interest in here. No? Oh, it's a horny, thorny dragon. And I think that's the way we came in right there. I saw this shelf from down below. We just jump down. We'll go out that way. Go car shopping. We've never fought a, a horny, thorny dragon, so I don't think I'm going to test it right now. Can you? Yeah, you can make that jump. Can you an SUV? We're good. Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, let's get out of here. Hold up, hold up. Paulina says she wants to continue. Did I hear you right? You want to move on past that horny, thorny dragon? All right, then. Good enough for me. You're the boss. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can defeat a horny, thorny dragon. Where'd he go? Oh, wait a minute. Can I even get past here? Uh, I'm not sure if I can get past here with an SUV. <laughs> Looks like we might have to go on on foot here. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Hold on. I think we can take him. They are aggressive, right? If he sees us, he's going to come after us? I don't know. We're going to find out. Hold on. So we just give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, man, Humphrey, I don't think you can squeeze through that. No, I don't think so either. I don't know what level it is. All right, well, I'm going to draw him in, and then we're going to beat the pus out of him, okay? Is he scaring you? He scared the poop out. Hey, turn. Stand still. i got to shoot him in the face. Oh, listen to him. Make that. Oh, <laughs> Humphrey, stop. There he comes. It's one shot to the head. Oh, my gosh, what is that stuff? Oh, he squirted me with something. Now I got tore poor. I hope I don't fall off. Wait, is he dead? Did you kill him already, Humphrey? 
It was a level eight. What were you afraid of? He scared the poop out of you. It's kind of scared me too, especially when he, he squirted at me. All right, let go. Let's chop him up then. What do we get? What do we get from him? Oh, keratin! Keratin from Horny Thorny Dragons. Who knew? Oh, that's really good news. Okay. Because I wasn't sure where the heck I was going to find that stuff. All right, Humphrey. Now the moment of truth. We got low clearance. Let's see if you can get through. Oh, man. You're going to lose a hump. Yeah. Can you make it? Run harder. Keep running, buddy. Come on. No, you can't. No. No, you can't. All right. All right. Enough. Good try. A for effort. All right. Can you back out of there now? Well, this is interesting, isn't it? It seems like Ark is telling us it wants us to leave our big dinos behind and that we have to go alone on foot once in a while. So, all right, listen, pal. You stay here, all right? I need to make a tent just in case the weather gets sour. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. And I'm going to have to grab some water here, too. Unfortunately, I only have the water skins, but that's what we're here for, to find some crystal. And I don't need all of that wood. Let's take about half of it, in case I need to repair some things. Or maybe make a fire, cook up some meat. I don't know. Anyway, all right, I'm prepared. We're prepared. We're going. We'll be back in a bit. Stay right there. Wait for us. Oh, man. This is scary. 